You're such an asshole! I have no idea why the internet gods got angry at me all of a sudden. I tested it. I have a packet tester. <laughs> it's not improving. Did someone just start? There's no football today, is there? Is it coming back? Is it coming back? There it is. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we got an interesting question, but before I go on, um, I want to plug Cotton Bro Studio. That's the guy who took the picture that's on the thumbnail, and it's free on Pixels. Uh, but I went to his site. I was like, dang. this." He, of course, it plays to what I like, old school Peter Gunn. Black and white detective whiskey guy with a fedora type of thing. But the guy's got some pretty cool pictures. And so I, I did want to give him a shout out because I, I really like the photography. Uh, but let's go to the question here. And this is one that we will. We, you want to say, I, I, Paul uh, Bauer's got a, a book coming out. What I wish I knew when I was 18. And boy, this is sure something I wish I knew when I was 18. Dear Aaron, I'm an Asian American. It happens to be quite the introvert. No kidding. Although I can be extroverted when need be, I disconnected myself from social media for almost a decade. I'm not on any social media platforms. During college, I would also be working a full-time job and didn't have time to pay attention to these liberal arts classes. I'm essentially what you would call an atom before eating the fruit from the tree. I was raised very traditionally and wanted to start my own family. A new college was expensive and therefore I had to work to afford it. I also planned out... out how my future kids would be successful by setting aside money so that I could invest in an IRA for them at, a, or at the earliest age possible. Despite setbacks from getting fired, suffering from severe depression, from getting fired, long story, and feeling suppressed in the workplace, I continue to work. It wasn't until last year that I knew about these calls for diversity in the workplace and the unrealistic expectations girls have for guys. Hang on. I know you're not a fan of diversity in the workplace, and I'm not. It is discrimination and, and bigotry and evil. But no matter how hard I try to tell myself it's BS, I can't help but feel suppressed. I didn't do too well during undergrad because of so many hours working, but recently I went back to school to take out additional courses to raise my GPA to a 3.6. I do plan on taking the CPA exams, meaning the 150 credit requirement. I have zero debt, six figures in savings and stocks, and own nothing at the age of three. Or, or owe nothing at the age of that. You make it so, oh my God, it's horrible. I can't find a job. Well, where'd all this money and good Frisco? Like, you're succeeding. I'm doing all this so I can start a family in the future. How do I blend into today's societal standards that I just be myself and continue to strive for the glimmer of hope that one day I would have a family of my own? All right. Um, boo -boo 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 -boo. All right. This is very important. Why would you want to get married, let alone have a social life in the United, especially at your age and your generation. Why would you want to befriend, socially invest, let alone marry someone that comes from this culture? I'm not trying to be edgy, like, oh, let's slam on America. My my public school teachers did that before. You know, Europe's so much better. Shut up, you freaking waste of a hippie. What, what is good? What have you seen? That's good. You, I don't know if you're trying to tell me you were discriminated or not or against. <clears throat> I'm going to assume that you were lied to about your job duties. You weren't given any help. Maybe it's because you're Asian and Asians, they don't get affirmative action because Harvard hates you. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> but you have gone through some trials and tribulations. You got off social media. Why'd you do that? Let me ask, have you had fun with people of your generation? Because this was an epiphany I came up with not too long ago. And it, it it's amazing what happens when you have time to breathe and you don't have to like gun down what's in front of you. You get time to sit back like, what happened again now for the past odd years? I'm not playing a violin. I'm being 100% accurate and <clears throat> um, assessing. The people of my generation when they were young were assholes. They're materialist pieces of shit. They're all about being popular. And, and as I've mentioned several times before, you'd have to get in fights if you didn't have the right shoes. They're also cowards. They always take you on three to one. It was always a bigger guy taking. Girls, they're better than they are now. I'll grant you that. I did tip my hat a little bit to, to a few. 
They were definitely not the majority of women. They would go Dutch. Some would show up. But the vast majority of women, certainly in my generation, would stand a guy up. Divorces are down. And then, obviously, you all know my work history. I was in banking. There's no meritocracy or efficacy there. And then I end up, think of this. I end up in this profession, this weird world I got now, by doing nothing but slamming on American people, American institutions, schools, corporate America, the government. And I get an audience. It's not because I'm wrong. Josh Fluke is not more popular than me, by the way, because he's wrong. Rolo Tomasi and Roosh and Royce, if you want to do the three hours, are not popular because they're wrong. It's because they're explaining real world phenomena to younger men predominantly, but people in general listen to it saying, yeah, the emperor's got no clothes. And we're not singing the praises of this culture and society. We're telling you everything that's wrong with it, and it's not acceptable. And so, again, I ask you exactly why would you want – I'm sure you know a handful of really good people. I'm sure. Okay, Everyone's got to have one or two good friends. But aside from those exceptions, to how has everyone been in your society? Have your teachers lied to you? Get almost guarantee you they did. Is everyone trying to say that you owe them money because you were born a certain way or that you're oppressing people? Well, half the population is you're a guy, right? Did they give you a fair and square deal on that job? Now you got to go back to school. Get it. So because you can't work in corporate America, not because you're a bad work, I'm going to assume, but because it's not tenable. Corporate America is corrupt. It's no longer. Well, it never was that meritocratic. Now it's just a psychopath hellhole, uh, insane asylum. We charge people around $100,000. Well, okay, it's not 100000 If you throw in dirt cheap you're around fifty thousand dollars to get the permission slip to go and apply for entry-level jobs called a college degree and we tax everyone at about 40 percent go ahead look it up ask you again what what exactly show me where the good people who wanted to invest in you were i'm not i'm not trying to be a downer or a doomer or a, 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 a black pill guy I'm just pointing it out. Where, where have you had someone tell you the honest truth and not try to fuck you over? Socially, romantically, sexually, financially, educationally, any kind of capacity or regard. This is a poor and scummy society. And if I knew, if I could put it to myself when I was 18, I said, why are you hanging out with these people? Why are you going to that nightclub? Now, I did enjoy some industrial uh, techno rock. I did enjoy, though. I did enjoy Masha. But aside from that, like if Guar or KMFDM wasn't playing, why would I? Why are you trying to talk to that? Why are you showing up on there? Why? Why are you wasting your time? Why are you going to this party? They hate you. Why are you going to this school? It hates you. Why are you majoring that? But they're lying to you. And... I, I, I'm not joking. I'm not. That's why I wrote a book, well, an essay called Sanity is the Future. Well, just look around. You got half the damn population that thinks there's a magic way that they can get through life without working. And they're going to sit there and jerk off to traits they were born with saying, oh, my God, I'm so great because of I'm born this way. But I'm even though I'm great, I'm oppressed. And other people, not me, work more and pay for me. What's so – name some hardworking, aside from yourself, name me some hardworking people in your life that put themselves through college, did what you did. I'd, I'd love to see it. And so when you look at the absolute shit quality and, cal cal quality and caliber of your modern-day Americans, now I'd say starting with the boomer generation, they're wrong. These are not good people. This is not a good country. This is a bunch of fat, lazy. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started about what they look like. Have you seen what? Have you been to a Walmart? You think those people are right? You think those people know what the fuck they're talking about? You want to you want to be social and get into the group with them? <clears throat>
And that's why I wish I could get you to realize now what I wish I could have realized at your time. These people are shit. If you are popular, if you got a great social life, and now it could be you're incredibly lucky. I was incredibly lucky when I was younger. The team that I worked with in security, man, I was spoiled. I thought I thought everyone was like that. And then I got out and I'm like, oh my God, where are all the incredibly intelligent colorful kids? I would, I would kill to have that crew again. So it can happen. You can be lucky. Maybe you join a fraternity and they're really cool guys. <laughs> Maybe you're incredibly lucky and you get uh, into a, an office where it just, you melt. But that is the exception, not the rule. The average uh, Johnny Q public out there in these United States of America is just worthless. Just a truly unimpressive person. And they're fake and fraudulent. And they'll lie about, oh, yeah, I'm like totally cool. <clears throat> I'm wearing the cool clothes. I got the cool car. I'm going to a party, bro. Listening to the music, renting a boat, whatever the hell it is people do to be popular. They don't have a freaking core to them. And it's all fake. It's all, it's all lame and gay. <clears throat> and you're like, I'm not getting along with people. Well, you shouldn't. Why would you? You're hardworking. You're probably intelligent. Looks like you're majoring in accounting and you're disciplined. You're Snoresville. I mean, there's, um, they shut it down. Um, where is it? It's more to the straight in, uh, right west into the Black Hills. There was a, uh, a lumber yard, pretty good size one too. And it's just a ton of sawdust. And even that had more moisture in it than the girls' pussies when they find out that you put yourself through college, you're working hard, and you saved up your money, and you want to be disciplined and save for your family. They couldn't get drier than sawdust in the Arizona desert. <clears throat> and now, and, and you want to have a family. Look, social life is one thing. Now you want to have a family? Have you not paid attention to anything going on on the internet? Well, maybe you haven't because you don't have social media. There is that. Okay, I forgot about that. <clears throat> Buddy. But it's like it's like this guy gets to the front line in World War II. Who are we fighting? What do you mean who are we fighting? The Germans. Oh, that explain all the German I hear. Very, very briefly. And you can pick up the book of numbers, analyzing the ROI and the pursuit of men or pursuit of women. You could get um, uh, Myron's book, Why Women Deserve Less. And I hate to have these titles sound so harsh, but they need to be because it's, it's that bad of a situation. Or my more most recent book, A World Without Men. All three books cover statistics. A World Without Men has the most recent. <clears throat> Shows you how little interest American and to a large extent Western women have in men. Now, Asia, I don't know about what Asia country you're from. Or ethnically from, I guess I should say, in case you're thinking, well, maybe we'll go back to the home country. China, it's uh, as bad for different reasons because they <laughs> murdered and aborted all their baby daughters under communism. <clears throat> uh, Japan, I don't know what they got going on there. There's that Hikamori group. And South Korea, I, I don't know what's going on over there either. But feminism is really popular, but they're not mean about it, I guess. I guess they're really, the women are really polite. They're thin. I, <clears throat> but here in the United States, women don't want to get married as much anymore. And they're certainly not going to be feminine. And we can read three if you want, but two only 2.7% of the female population in the United States is marriage material. Traditionally speaking, which is what it seems you want. If you wanted a go-getter, double income, no kids, and you wanted a gal to be a professional, then your chances go up quite significantly. But if you want to have a family and like June Award Cleaver and traditional stay at home parent, like mom, dad, not divorce, you are in the wrong country or you're at the right country, but the wrong time. And certainly by all means, if you find the right girl, go ahead and date her. And if you want to get married, I'd advise not, but you can commit and start a family. There are good girls out there. They're just very exceptionally rare. But have you seen the, have you seen the women? Honest to God, you should. I don't have a copy of it. That's right. It's back in the Twin Cities. I have a chart that shows like estimates, of course. 
you know, I, I asked me, what is it? At least a third of women just hate men. 80% are not interested. They're not interested unless you're a, of course, it all flips if you're a, a 10 yourself, but that that's a asterisk. <clears throat> you have this dream, which is completely normal and perfectly understandable. And you're asking me the question is, should how do I change myself so that I can attract these people who are not marriage material? 60% of young women are overweight. I don't know any of them wear, wear dresses. I don't know any of them that are feminine. Those that are good looking are incredibly, air of course, not all. Don't do, uh, I know one girl. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <clears throat> they have student loan debt. They Their priorities are not marriage. They're not you. It's career, finance, education. Not even necessarily anything wrong with that. You, you are the wrong country at the wrong time. And, and if you want to look at them culturally, have you? Let's go read any lyrics by Lizzo or Taylor Swift or Cardi B or Nicki Minaj, Vicky, whatever the, the brown plastic girl with the shiny hair does. Go read any of that. Any of it. Did you not see all the girls? These girls, it, it because there's so many and everyone has their own opinion. So I can't say they all hate. They don't. <clears throat> But very few are interested in being married, and it shows. And here you are like, dude, I want to go to the dude bro party. Why? Because it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Well, they're doing kegger shots, and they're doing this, and they're listening to loud music, and it's painful and annoying. It's one thing I will give the millennials, especially the Zoomers, a lot of credit for. But there's a handful of things. Like, you guys figured out the nightclub scene was a bunch of loud, obnoxious bullshit. We didn't know. Like, well, when's it going to get good? Well, maybe it's just, let's try a different nightclub. You guys are like, no, I'm going home and jerking off to porn. <laughs> After that, I, uh, I'm going to go to sleep, get a good night's rest. <laughs> In your case, work and go get enough credits to sit for the CPA. But that's that was the culture. What? You want a bunch of rich kids who mom and dad paid their way through college or maybe the government did because of affirmative action or whatever. No one's working is what I'm saying. <clears throat> it's like, you were going to go party, bro. We're going to do pot and drugs and drink, bro. We're going to we're going to hit on you. The girls got to dress up and shoot you down, bro. <clears throat> hey, have you dated any girls to indicate? That there was a nice, feminine, comely lady, and, and I'm going to assume not. And here you are. What do I got to do to get girls attracted to me? No, no, no. You, you have completely misdiagnosed this problem. Where do you got to go? How do you find and vet for a woman who's going to be a good quality wife and mother to your children? <clears throat> and I understand because this is the environment you're in. Like it's like being born. Into the football stadium. I know this is a weird analogy, but follow me in on this. Let's say you were born into a football stadium and all you see is football, football, football. And you're like, well, oh, I better learn to play football. All, all the all the people in the crowd are cheering for the football. No one's ever told you, yeah, you can leave and go do whatever the hell you want. You, you could just, the, the gates open. No one's ever told you guys that. So everyone thinks like, oh yeah, we got a party. Oh, I got to get a fancy car. Oh, I got to wear this dress. I got to dress like the other girls speaking to the ladies as well. Oh, I have to get a college. Oh, I got to do it. No, 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 no. You need, you need to stop and ask, what if society is ill and the individual is right? I've talked about that before though. I think it's called the hardest decision, the hardest choice I ever had to make. And that was where I had to maybe, like I tried doing everything that society told me to do. I had no success. And then the only thing left, the only possible explanation that society was wrong and the individual was right, turned out I was right. I could predict every fucking economic event. It's not even that hard once you take the glasses off. <clears throat> and what I'm trying to get you to see it's not even a matter of opinion. You got a bunch of people who are all in debt. What was it? Over half of Americans don't have a thousand dollars in save in savings. All of you go fuck yourself. This is a sad, pathetic group of people that you you shouldn't want to be friends with. Of course, judge everyone and an individual. I'm sure you'll find some hardworking people. And the marriage situation is probably even worse. It's just as bad for women. Well, I don't know what you girls are going to marry. 
You got the Democrat soy boys you elected. You, oh my God, he's sensitive. He plays guitar and he votes Democrat. Oh my God, he doesn't have a job and collects welfare. I don't know what you were expecting, lady. I, honest to God, don't know what you thought was going to happen with that. I want to be rich, hardworking, industrious. Then I want him to just give all of his money away and vote Democrat. I don't. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <clears throat> I think the only thing you girls could find are trust fund babies like Dean Phillips. Dean Phillips, there you go. He's a relatively youngish man. Lots of money. Didn't work for it, but he votes Democrat. He is a Democrat. He's running for office. You girls can, oh my God. You guys can both imagine what it's like not working for a living. <laughs> well, he knows. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> anyway, as society has only gotten worse since I've had that realization, it, it's only gotten worse. These are adult children here. These are not deep people. These are kind of assholes. They're liars. Most of them are cheats. They're parasites. These are not good people. of more. And what culture? What culture? We burn our culture down. Like, oh, my God, the popular thing the television told us, burn it down. We don't like it anymore. <clears throat> so you should not be looking to change yourself to fit in this society. You should be looking for a group within the society that's hardworking, whether that might be religious or, you know, I, I don't know what um, what uh, uh, Asian country you hail from uh, your parents do. But like, let's say you're a Filipino. I would go find the Filipino American Club uh the chinese american club or wherever um because there's still a little bit more tradition uh, you could be religious you got to go and find out where there are good quality people who didn't swallow whole the bullshit they were taught in school k through college who are hard working and industrious who know that family love investment from other people conversation is is more important than having the latest uh, Ford F-150, you know, Dickless Wonder Platinum or, or a Mercedes or a Range, whatever. <clears throat> and if you want to find what you're, I, I'm going to tell you right now, since you are, um, Asian American as all my Asian American friends. Yeah, I think pretty much I have one guy, one, two, two guys, India, one guy, Vietnamese, a couple Chinese. Um, they all went back to the home country through connections through their family to find themselves a woman. And it worked. I mean, I don't think any of them are divorced. I know one guy got divorced. Surprise. He was married to an American woman. He says, Nope, I'm doing India this time. And they're still together. Uh, if that's that important to you, I, I and I'm, I'm not saying don't look domestically. I'm not saying if there's a really nice, you know, Becky white girl, like, and she's a, an account, you meet her in accounting school and she works hard. Hey, go ahead. Yes. Yes. By all me. I'm not saying, Oh no, I swear. I'm just trying to one, teach you like realize why the hell would you want to marry this? Why would you want to be popular and have your social life? And well, I don't know, buddy, do you like drinking light beers and watching sports games at the bar, bro? You go to pick your brackets, bro. <clears throat> so, uh, that's one thing. And then the other thing is like, you're going to have to change your strategy and tactic to, to, so the, the introvert, that's brilliant. You got rid of social media. I wish I could do that. In my, unfortunately, my job is kind of based on that a little bit, but you're healthy. The introvert, the same person would look at this Sodom and Gomorrah stuff, not to get all biblical or, or 80s Christian right wingy, but this is filth. This is just shit. These are boring people. Yeah, <clears throat> why? Why would you? Why would you want to hang out? <clears throat> and so, uh, ah, shoot, what was I gonna? There's another point I was gonna make, but, but you get my point. Oh, if you looked at all this going on, the introvert saying uh, introvert just means I don't want to socialize. Well, if these are the people you had to socialize with, yeah, I won't want to socialize either. You know. I, I don't I don't really leave. I, I go play Dungeons and Dragons occasionally. I play poker. Those are my social groups. With the average rank and file person out there, I'm gonna go talk to these people. <laughs> meetup groups. You go over you ever go to a meetup group? Hey, you guys want to get a beer? Do some oh, I'm gonna go home. I'm kind of tired. God, you're all sucking her. 
Don't even get me started about how everyone's boring and out of shape either. <clears throat> but if society is mentally ill, you should want to be the introvert. You wouldn't want to have anything to do with them. I, I don't know. Do you, do you want to go watch the sports game, bro? Do you want to go hard? Do you want to talk about who, who you picked at the draft? Oh, the draft. Do you want to talk about who you picked at the draft and why? Instead of, I don't know, philosophy, purpose and meaning, exercise, production, accomplishments, progress. <clears throat> so, and look at what happened to you. You're, I don't even think you're 30 yet. And you got over 100000 saved up, no debts. You don't owe anything. You're looking to get your CPA here pretty soon. You're doing great. That's because you didn't piss away your time with the, with the fools as known as American Social Society. So going forward, I would be very careful who you hang out with. You're not, understand you're not missing anything, okay? Choose the right places you want to hit. Go, I rarely say this, but grad school might be something. You might meet some other, go to the CPA society. Go hang out. There's a bunch of productive nerds and squares. They, they, they. And you meet a, a CPA female nerd square, and then you have little nerd square. Y'all are got really good taxes done. <laughs> you got you got perfect personal finances, family finances there. That's that's what I'd be doing. And so choose your social circles very wisely. And if you can't find any, get back to work. Two, uh, choose your women very wisely. And I would, I'm not saying give up all hope, but don't have any hope. Uh, I'm going to find a girl if I go to a nightclub. Maybe uh, you see a cute girl, ask her out. But if you're on the marriage train, date once or twice, she's up, she's late, done, get out, next one. And I, I almost guarantee you, I'm I'm going to guarantee you, buddy, whichever country your, your parents hail from, talk to your parents, say, hey, do we know anyone back there? Because I'd like to start looking for a wife. And I'm sure the hell ain't going to find one here. I want to find one's traditional traditional values wants to raise kids because you want to have kids um and so and then you might have to do some trips and fly and that's that's what seems to work and i'm just trying to give you the quick the quickest solution to your problem but at least we can do is eliminate any confusion or socially conditioned desire you have logically like wow well, i, I want to fit in this with this is so well i gotta fit they told me i needed to be popular i, I want it no you're doing it great man not hanging out with people you're doing it what what did you miss what are you missing there's probably a bunch of guys around man if i had known just to go to bed at a good hour when i was 19 and not go to whatever the 18 plus night if i had known not to that to go with Nike. Had I had I known that once the girl started acting weird and said, "If you don't know, I'm not telling," just to never call her again. If if, if I had known, all those guys would be like, "Yeah, we'd be we'd have we'd be sitting on a hundred grand at, at 27, 28 too." <clears throat> so that's it. All right. So link below. Sandy is the future of wealth. Please go get that. And then I also link to that uh, Cotton Bro Studios. And then if you guys want, go look at the data. Uh, a world without men by me. An analysis of an all-female economy. Go read through it. There's all your data. It'll tell you exact. A lot of people say, oh, well, the data was already covered in, in the previous two books. And it's like, yeah, it's it's covered in those. This, I actually go and make an estimate as to what percent of women, what, like guys, are indifferent to guys, are agitated, annoyed by guys, adversarial, and hate. And obviously, they don't have polling like that, so I had to kind of infer. But it, it'll open your eyes. You realize, oh, yeah, this is not the time to get. Okay, it's not not the country, not the time, not the generation. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the super chats and have ourselves a treat. Hand clogs, ten bucks since inflation and the prices. This is getting a little warm. This is my electric blanket sweater. Uh, since inflation and the prices of goods and services go up, why do wages not raise as well? Is it because the money is worth less and thus devalues the wages of all, making wages not go up? Well, <clears throat> they're two separate things. There's Wages are set by supply and demand. So don't confuse it like, well, inflation, this. Just just say, what's supply and demand? Start there for your diagnosis. All right. Uh, wages have gone up uh, because the younger people are just saying we're not doing it. So there's been an uptick. Now, admittedly, that's only been in about the past three to five years, five max. But those wages have gone up. <clears throat> um, 
but generally, uh, as profits and GDP and all that has gone up, the average wage, the mean median wage, sorry, median wage has has stayed the same, adjusting for inflation. Uh, and a lot of it is, well, we got rid of a lot of demand. We shipped a lot of things over to China. They could do it a lot cheaper, so there's less demand for lower entry, lower skilled wages. Um, there's also, up until recently, uh, people were willing to work, uh, especially women. Women were, uh, if, you, if you look at it, men have been trending down since forever, but women also wanted to supply labor. So there's that. That is uh, lowered wages because women increased the supply. So you have lowering demand with jobs being outsourced. You have increased supply with women entering the labor force. But not interesting, but not surprising. Women's labor force participation rate has now started to go down despite them wanting to be strong, independent, don't need, no. And so now, now you have women leaving the market. You have men leaving the market. You have younger people, especially men, leaving the market. So wages this last little bit of time has gone up. I, I would say it's nothing sexy, but the if you go look at female labor force participation rate and male labor force participation, I think it goes back to 1948, uh, you see women just entering the labor force in the 70s and 80s and 90s, and it kind of plateaus in the – Ots in the tens, and especially that it's it's gone back down, <clears throat> and thus wages have gone up. So that that's what I would say. Um, is it because money is worth less and thus devalues the wages for all? Now you're you're conflating, making wages not go up. No, it's just it's just supply and demand. I mean, and then you could break it down by each individual. You know, demand for tradesmen is up. Supply of tradesmen is down. Tradesmen make more than college graduates, suckers. You know, college graduates, you could look at that. At one time, college graduates, there's demand for college. Well, I think there's the same amount of demand for college graduates. And I think at one time, what was only 3% of people went to college? Now, I believe it's 65% go to college. They don't all graduate, but two-thirds go to college. Now, you flooded the market. Now, your college degree is worthless. <clears throat> hand clogs two bucks people are still pretty terrible today cap yeah they are and they're getting worse i mean they're not like outright evil they're unconscious evil oh my god like entitled people are functionally evil but unconscious evil because they're brought out to believe that they're entitled to have other people pay for their shit and be their slave they've never had it explained like yeah everyone because you spat out a kid because you couldn't afford it now everyone's got to work that much a little bit harder for you i deserve I'm entitled. I want free daycare. How dare the children? No, no, doesn't matter. That doesn't give you the right to take that person's money. They don't care. <clears throat> and then now, even that's just simple human laziness and parasitism. Now this mentally ill cult where you worship traits. Oh, get the fuck out! And you make up genders you don't have. I mean, there are transgender people. Don't get me wrong. But the vast majority of people who claim to be transgender, like I'm talking 80, 85 percent of you are just straight people jumping on the bandwagon. That's what you are. You're straight as an arrow. You just don't want to work. Or work to have value. Like, oh, my God, I'm popular. I did the thing. I'm going to dye my hair and get tattoos. That'll give me value. Nonstop Drake, two bucks. Cappy is a life coach, too ahead of his time. Don't threaten me, DJ. Uh, uh, Dre, don't threaten me. My truth, the king, Aaron Celery, Gen Z and millennial favorite influencer. If Gen Z and millennials would listen to me, millennials won't, but Gen Z might. You can avoid the hell the previous two generations went through. You can avoid it. You're not because I'm a people in meanie head and I'm not telling you what your teachers do. Your teachers tell you, you can have free stuff and, and 40 minute orgasms every day and everything will be wonderful and free. And I'm like, no, you got to work for a living. Oh, why do you hate women? I fine. Go major in puppy studies. I don't care. Chase Robido, two bucks. Cowboy Bebop is fantastic. Just started the series. Good. I hope it's the cartoon that you watched. Burbshide, five Australian clubbing after a 12 month hiatus was the lamest experience. Attention seekers and thirsty, sweaty dudes with zero charisma. It's, it's a waste. Of, I'm glad you got out of it. Burbshide. I'm glad you got out of it. Jorge C 269 make Argentina great again. <laughs> He's going to be, they got a parliament, right? 
I I know you're all excited about Argentina. He'll be there for about two years, and then the parliament will get rid of him, and it'll be back to the Peronists, which are the socialists. Uh, nonstop trade, two bucks. Cappy needs to go to Japan and make mini cappies there. No, I, I don't want, no. I, I've said before, if a woman wants to pay me two million after tax, after tax, with a ton of legal disclaimers, she can have my seed. She can make a cappy baby. You go ahead, make a cappy baby. I'm not raising it. I don't want to know about it. You can't introduce me to it. You just give me two million after tax. And you can have these fine genetics here. There, the irony of, if, if you permit me to be a little bit more <clears throat> accurate in my own assessment, I'm not the worst guy, you know, pretty high IQ, relatively healthy, um, but, oh, five, nine, that's too bad. Mm, five, nine. My truth, the king, five bucks, Department of Army sending out letters to former members who were kicked out for refusing a poke. Now you can return and they will reassess your previous separation. Oh, is that how it's going? Oh, is China? China's got some uh, nuclear strike capacity now, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That Xi Jinping guy kind of maybe wants Taiwan to be reunified. Oh, that's interesting. I saw the military had an all white male commercial like, yeah. Yeah, we're going to war. <laughs> uh, J Pot, 10 bucks. Ever watch the movie Dirty Dancing from a Red Pill perspective? No, I didn't watch it back then, and I'm not going to watch it now. Goose. Oh, shit. This is pinching my ears. Five bucks. If you ever get the chance, check out Caleb Hammer Financial Audit. You would have a blast. Uh, people have mentioned him and referred him many times, and I would like to. I just don't want to do more of my own watch i don't want to watch somebody do my job that i do already uh i i guess him and i pretty much he has a little different angle but we're in the same field yelling at people i like binging on my nerd podcasts i like uh i like listening to it's a gundam i, I don't want to you know dave Ramsey. oh did you see the dave Ramsey video or the girl had $300,000 in student loans. No, I don't have to. I don't have to. Paracelsus Underac, five bucks. My roommate suddenly bugged out, so I got him off the lease. I've decided that I'm not adopting stray humans anymore. I schedule them into time slots. Yeah, like a Airbnb. That's what I would do. And well, and, and Paracelsus, here, to the client, you see, Americans don't even honor their lease. They don't. Americans want to have student loan bailouts. They want free this, free that. Oh, but they're strong and amazing and really cool people because they wore some clothes. I, I really... <laughs> I don't agree with Modern Life John on a lot of things, but the one thing I do agree is, is, is his disgust with the American population. And his preference for a more mature one like Japan because he obviously... What is it? Because that called a... a a Japanese, not a Japanese, phobe means you're afraid, a Japanese fan. What do they call a, what's the Latin? Phobe means fear. What's Latin for fan? Uh, oh, shoot. He's very pro-Japan. <clears throat> Nons goofy videos, 10 generous dollars. How lucky I just literally bumped into a researcher doing cool shit while bringing my sister to basketball practice. I guess once you have enough computer jargon, you'll find the diamond once in a while. Oh, you mean like uh, you found a guy? You found a guy that uh, is a pro. Well, good. I'm glad. Yeah, keep your eyes open. I mean, there are good people. Um, but I would give up on this. What do I do to be to impress girls? What do I do to be cool and get invited to the parties? Like, no, man. Mm -mm. <laughs> be like the guy on the on the thumbnail. Go pour yourself a drink. Go listen to some jazz and chill out at a nice bar. Absolutely. All right, that's it. Uh, link below are all the things in the stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Toodles.